Welcome back to Firearm Rag, guys. Today, we're gonna take a look at my Alamo Precision Rifles custom build. Now, they built this to my specs with parts that I wanted, and uh, I tried to keep it as local as I could because I'm a big proponent of supporting local business. So, I've got a barrel on here. This is a Hardy barrel from Dallas Rifle. They are the sole importers of Hardy barrels. And uh, like the name implies, they're in Dallas, Texas, whereas I'm in Fort Worth, so that's pretty local to me, and I, it was a no-brainer. It is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, which is kind of the long-range round de jour right now. It might not be as uh, cutting edge as something like 6 Dasher or whatever the hell else guys are using right now on the PRS, but it's readily available, and I can shoot it a whole lot more because I can find that ammo at a reasonable price. Uh, 6.5 Creedmoor goes for about the same money as Match 308. So, uh, keeping with the local theme, the action on this is an Curtis Custom Axiom. Now, that's a three lug action that I've got to say is probably one of the smoothest three lugs I've ever. F now, I've had a chance to shoot McMillan rifles, Surgeon, and other three lug actions. Even the uh, Ruger Precision rifle, that one is also a three lug action and nowhere near as smooth as this thing because, uh, I mean, it's, it's absolutely clear, but whenever you cock that thing it's got some roller bearings in there that make cocking the rifle a little bit easier so um i gotta say i'm really really happy with that now the rifle was built by alamo precision rifles and uh when i was in phoenix touring the mcmillan facility i met robert over at alamo precision rifles and uh i'm when i met him we were talking and found out that they had their shop in hearst i was like man cool i'll have to stop by we got to talking a little bit further and found out that we live on the same street basically so he lives lives the next street over in his backyard his caddy quarter of mine so uh we got talking a little bit more i said man i'm gonna have to stop by take a look at some of your rifles and then next thing i know i'm filling out a build sheet for a four thousand dollar rifle minus the optic and mount but it shoots well it, it, i mean it's, it shoots so well it's worth the four grand i'm gonna tell you uh if you've got the ability to spend the money on a rifle like that i would highly recommend it anyway continuing on magazines are going to be aics mags they are the standard for precision rifle right now and uh i got that one from brownells from a song because every now and then they've got some really really good deals bottom metal is going to be a ptg and uh, i forget which model it is it might be the stealth model uh I don't really love the bottom metal. I'm probably going to change the bottom metal. And that was my choice. I purchased that part uh, separate from Alamo and said, hey, I've got this. And they said, well, it's not the best, but we'll put it on. Um, but like, I'm not really, really happy with it. I'm probably gonna end up changing it out for one of Alamo's uh, custom, one, one of their bottom metals because they've got their own branded ones. And uh, I really do like how they set those up. So we got like a barricade stop incorporated and stuff like that. Now the scope on here is a Bushnell XRS2 Elite Tactile that is with the H59 reticle. Uh, it's gonna be a four and a half to 30 power scope in a relatively light and compact package. Uh, that's inside of a Spur SP4011 mount. And uh, all of this stuff is connected to a Timney Calvin Elite trigger. And it is a pretty darn good trigger, I've gotta say. It breaks right about a pound and a half, and uh, that's kind of where I like it for precision shooting. Um, and then all of it lives inside of this McMillan A5 stock. Now, the A5 is a classic. It's one of the most loved stocks by PRS shooters. You get a lot of people saying, well, the A3, the A4, they're better, because uh, guys like that, that slimmer forend on the A3. I personally like the A5 because that wide forend does a really great job of protecting the scope bell. Um, especially when you're getting into weird positional shooting so uh that stock is uh, outfitted with a adjustable cheek riser just like that and it also came with a spacer system that i took most of them out and i need to add some back in because the eye relief on this xrs2 is a little bit long initially had a vortex uh viper or a vortex uh razor hd gen 2 mounted on this gun and i pulled it off in favor of the bushnell because i really do kind of like the bushnell a little bit better i like that h59 reticle personally uh, bipod is a list that I don't remember the model name, but I'll link it down in the description. And uh, all of these parts will be linked down in the description. So if that's something that you're into, you can uh, check that out down in the description. Uh, build your own rifle, find a builder, put it together. I think it's the most fun I've ever had on the range and I've been shooting for a long time now. Uh, and I know somebody's gonna ask what bag I've got on here. This is a rifles only bag that I've got hooked into one of the flush cups. 
so it stays with the rifle. Get it back into that flush cup. There you go. And uh, that's really it, guys. I mean, uh, the pick rail on the bottom is McMillan's. That was an option on the order form, so I checked that just to make it a little easier to mount my Atlas on here. Um, all in all, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to get out on the range, and we're going to shoot it a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to tell you what I thought about it here at the end of the video. All right, so I've got my custom uh, Alamo Precision Rifle out here at Triple C in Crescent, Texas. And I'm on, again, lane D3. Uh, we got 294 yards, 3 and 99, 4, 93, 5, 93, 6, 93, and 790. So we're going to do one mag on this, see how we do. We may step it up to the bigger range. Let's load one up. Safety on. And Geo Ballistics tells me 1.1. Up. All right, hit the hell out of that. All right, next target is going to be 399 yards, so 1.8. Knock the hell out of it. Let's do that again. Hell yes, nice dead center hit. So uh, now we're going to step it out to 493, so 2.6. Smack the crap out of that. Good night. All right, so let's go 593, so effectively 600 yards. It's going to be 3.5 mil up. All right, good hit. Let's see where we're at on ammo in this mag. Okay. So since that one was pretty easy, we're going to step on out to... 693, so 700, that's gonna be 4.4. Good hit. Another good hit, hell yes. And then 790, so 800 yards, 5.4. I think that might be my last round. So let's hope I hit it, huh? There we go. So uh, 800 yards with a 6.5 Creedmoor wasn't terribly hard. Now we are shooting three MOA targets, so we're gonna step over to the next lane, which has targets out to 1,000 on two MOA targets. And uh, I'm pleased with the performance on this lane, so I'm probably gonna be pleased with the performance on the next lane as well. All right, so we're over on Delta Two. So this one's got two MOA targets. I'm gonna read off the sign here. We've got 296 yards, 398, 499, 594. 692, 290, or I'm sorry, <laughs> 792, 892, and 993. So uh, I'm just going to start at uh, the 398 since the 296 is slightly obscured by the hill here. Uh, I don't think I can even see it. Let's see what we can see. Uh, yeah, it's slightly obscured by the hill. So we're going to start at uh, 398. So, for essentially 400, I need 1.8. All right, move that magazine and move my body. Turn that stupid camera back on. This thing is like 10 years old. So, I hope it's showing the hits all right. I think that was a hit. <laughs> 4.99, so 2.6 mil. There we go. All right, so now we got 4.99 done. Let's step it out to 600 at uh, 3.5. And that's gonna be 594 yards exactly. So. There we go. All right, 
right, so now we're gonna step it out. There is an impact at 1,000 yards. And another, all right. And, I must have pulled that shot. You know, hitting a two away target at a thousand, it's freaking easy with this rifle. All right, guys, so that is it for my Alamo Precision Rifle custom build. And this thing just shoots lights out. I'm gonna tell you what, uh, we took it all the way out to a thousand yards on two MOA targets with relative ease. It wasn't hard at all. Uh, I didn't shoot a whole lot of ammo through it this range session, but I have had this rifle for about eight months now. And I've been shooting the crap out of it. Uh, I wanna say I've got somewhere in the neighborhood of about 600 rounds through it, which might not sound like a lot, but when you take into account that it's about a dollar 10 per trigger pull, and uh, we're talking about a precision rifle that's barrel might last a couple thousand rounds if I'm lucky. Um, that is a lot more than it sounds like. So uh, there are some things that I would change about the rifle, and I don't know if I mentioned it previously, but the bottom metal is really not my speed. I don't like that PTG bottom metal. I'll probably end up swapping that out with uh, one of Alamo's privately made, uh, one, of the, one of their private branded ones because they've got some really nice things incorporated like a barricade stop and some other things. And like, I don't much like this latch system on the PTGs, but uh, you know, you got my view on that. The scope itself, uh, it performed outstanding. I was a little bit hesitant because I've got some issues with my HDMR2. Um, where I get like fatigued over long range sessions. Today I was out here for a few hours, didn't get any fatigue on the XRS2. Uh, it really did do a, a really solid job. That H59 reticle is easy as hell to use. And I like the uh, the little dot in the center that helps me kind of fine tune where I'm pointing the thing. Um, now, just overall, the rifle performed amazingly. And uh, you know, I've had some really great results with this thing out on a, a 200 yard range where I was shooting tiny, tiny groups and um, I see quarter MOA or better with factory Hornady 147 grain ammo. Today I had 140 grain, it didn't group quite as well, it doesn't like the 140 grain quite as much as it likes the 147, uh, but the 140 did just fine out here. And uh, like you saw, we took it from 300 on out to 1000 with no problems at all. So uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Anyway, I wanna thank Triple C for having me out here and letting me use their range, super awesome to them. Uh, thanks Jeremy and Kelly awesome of you guys and um if you want to check out alamo precision rifles i'll drop a link down in the uh, description give them a call get your own rifle built uh they offer them starting at about two thousand dollars which uh and it's not really that much money when you start adding things up um this one like i said is going to go for about four because it is a little bit more premium i do have the premium action i've got the premium barrel i've got the premium stock but uh like my 223 that one sub two thousand dollars now if you're interested in uh supporting firearm rack to keep content like this flowing head on over to patreon.com slash firearm rack the uh, web description is right here the uh, website is right here and uh even a dollar or two a month does a world of difference in offsetting ammo costs and range fees hey, anyhow guys i love each and every one of y'all stay safe bye